I'm passionate about this population of mountain hares because it's small, it's vulnerable, they're beautiful animals, they're an arctic creature that we're privileged to have here. They can run at 45 miles per hour, the fastest land mammal in Britain. And they have these wonderful coats that turn white in winter, so they just look beautiful and majestic. Mountain hares to me are very important. They are a symbol of climate change. They're a furry white creature that is suffering because the planet is warming. And I care about mountain hares. That's why I have spent a lot of time going out counting them and writing about them. So mountain hares live to three or four years old and during the year they have three breeding periods, January, April and into the summer. They breed three to six leverets, babies, and these go on through the winter, but the leveret survival rate is pretty poor, only about 50% will even reach four weeks old. In winter, mountain hares are white against a green and brown background, and that makes them easy targets for foxes, stoats, buzzards and owls. Here we see owl pellets that are full of mountain hare fur. Camera traps have shown us how many mountain hares there are in certain areas, and also given us examples of their behaviour, their feeding, and particularly how they tend to come out at night rather than at daytime. This small population of mountain hares may number about two and a half thousand individuals. Now it's smaller than the ideal viable population size that scientists recommend. So it is really vulnerable and it's susceptible to natural threats such as diseases and parasites, uh, bad weather events, predators of course. So they have a tough time. But the number one threat to mountain hares is climate change. So climate change is increasing the summer temperatures. It's getting hotter and hotter every summer here in the Peak District. We have more wildfires each year. And that means that some of the adult hares, they may get encircled by fires. In addition to which, the vegetation is drier each summer, so the mother hares don't produce as much milk. It's harder for them to raise their leverets. COP26 is a great opportunity for governments to come together and think about climate change and its impact on ecosystems and wildlife and lay out for us all a vision of a future where we have less impact and a better influence on the natural world. <laughs>